أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brother and sister today is our fourth session of Ramadan reflections and dua series tonight we have invited former national Amir of Ikna brother Javed Siddiqui he will discuss Ramadan and human suffering and then dua inshallah Javed bhai please Allah khair أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة الروم ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس ليذيقهم بعض الذي عملوا لعلهم يرجعون صدق الله العظيم The translation reads Corruption has appeared on land and sea because of men's deed This is an order that he may cause them to have a taste of their deeds, perhaps they will return back. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Sirli Amri wa Hlul Uqtatam in Lisani Yabqahu Qawli. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. In the few minutes I have here with you today, I just wanted to explain to you this this cycle of this ideology of shirk and ilhad, this atheistic ideology, this concept of a world without God, a concept of how this belief in no accountability, uh, the belief in no concept of the hereafter, this ideology of shaitan, which he wants you to believe in, how that creates corruption in society. So if you were to think about this concept, think about three circles on the screen. The original ideology of shirk and ilhad and atheistic mindset and no belief in God and no concept of accountability, how that turns into corruption on the land, transgression, vulm, oppression, and how that manifests in the form of suffering for thousands and thousands of people around the world. My brothers and sisters, if you look at this concept and understand how this transforms and how it changes, it's certain that when people who have no concept of accountability, if people believe that this life is that's all it is, then their behavior, their moral compass, their value system will obviously turn differently than those who have consciousness, who are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we look at the suffering around us in the world, and look how corruption, and corruption, if I categorize corruption in many different ways, I would say, for example, greed is a form of corruption. Uh, all types of social, economic, political corruption are manifestations of corruption. Corruption at the level of governments, corruption at the level of governance, they are all leading to one thing, which is a thought process in a in human being or in human society, which basically says, you're free to do whatever you want. And you are not going to be accountable. You don't have to give account of your, your actions to anyone. And contrary to this, when you look at the concept of Ramadan, Ramadan on the other side, so before I talk about Ramadan here for a second, for maybe just a second here, I want to say something more important here. So this corruption, what is corruption? Basically what happens in a corrupt society is someone is taking over the rights of others. The due rights of people are not given to them. Whatever belongs to one party is not given to them. And as a result, Poor are poor, not because they are born poor, 
because society and corrupt policies of governments and corrupt uh, governance and corrupt politicians and corrupt people and uh, these feudal lords and you name it, they are the ones who are really, because of their corruption, the poor people don't have access to resources. The orphans and the needy don't have access to resources. Even if I expand this concept even further down to uh, what we see in terms of uh, uh, you know, events happening, natural disasters that are happening, and we don't have the time here, but just a really quick hint, the concept of global warming, what is this coming from? What are the reasons behind this global warming? And society and the world has agreed to this, this, this ideology, which and, and they understand this now because of greed and because of actions of man, these things are happening. And look at the eye again, bima kasabat aydinnas. Of what these people, uh, because of what this is, in order that he may cause them to have a taste of their deeds. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding them and it's kind of a wake up call for them. So when we look at the spirit of Ramadan in this context, as we talked about corrupt, uh, you know, ideology of shirk leads to corruption, leads to, uh, leads to uh, suffering of human beings. What is Ramadan on the other side uh, explaining? Ramadan is promoting a concept uh, of taqwa, a concept of God consciousness, a society that promotes uh, a world where human beings are mindful of Allah and have a sense of accountability and akhirah. In such a society, uh, that would, would fill, fulfill the responsibility. People are not unmindful of their responsibility. They will ensure that people have their rights. Corruption will go away. Um, brothers and sisters, uh, if you just look at the staggering statistics, uh, we don't have the time to go through that. But just in 2022, we had 31 major disasters. Over the last five years, I looked at the data for the last five years, there were about almost 95 to 100 major disasters around the world. It's because of the corruption of people. So I invite all of us today that in the spirit of Ramadan, that let's promote a society. And if the Islamic worker of ICNA would do their job, and if every Muslim on this, on this earth would do their job and they would call people to the, uh, the spirit of this month, which is taqwa. The, the purpose of the month of Ramadan is taqwa. And when we have taqwa, and when we promote this concept of Quran and the message of Quran to people of this world, we are going to be able to remove this corruption, which is going to remove this suffering. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this from us. We ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us uh, to be the ambassadors of this of this beautiful deen and this beautiful way of life, and to bring people back and be able to give people lives their the the lives back and be able to allow them to uh, you know really live in peace. <clears throat> we make dua to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allahumma la tadalna dhamban illa ghafarta, wa la hamman illa farrashta. ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا حيران إلا دللته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة لك فيها رضا ولنا فيها صلاح إلا عنتنا على قضائها يا قاضي الحاجات اللهم إنا نسألك من مجيبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك وسلامة من كل إثل والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار يا رحمن يا رحيم يا رب العالمين اللهم إني أسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك وحبيبك وعبادك الصالحون اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا ورزقا واسعا وقلبا خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا وبدلا على البلاء صابرا اللهم إني أسألك حلالا طيبا وتوبة نصوحا وتوبة قبل الموت 
وراحة عند الموت ومغفرة ورحمة بعد الموت والعفو عند الحساب والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اعتق رقابنا من النار اللهم اعتق رقابنا من النار اللهم اعتق رقابنا من النار يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اعتق رقاب آبائنا وأمهاتنا وذرياتنا من النار يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث يا حنان يا منان يا عزيز يا غفار يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا قريب يا مجيب يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات اللهم إنا عبيدك بنو عبيدك بنو إمائك نواصينا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك أسألك اللهم بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته على أحد من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا وسائقنا ودليلنا إلى جناتك جنات النعيم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار يا عزيز يا غفار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم اعتق رقابنا من النار في هذا الشهر الكريم وفي هذه الليالي يا رب العالمين يا عزيز يا غفار ربنا تقبل منا صلاتنا وصيامنا وتلاوتنا وعبادتنا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم انصر إخوان المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر إخوان المسلمين في كل مكان في كشمير وفي الشام وفي العراق وفي فلسطين وفي اليمن وفي جميع أنحاء العالم يا رب العالمين اللهم أصلح شباب المسلمين اللهم أصلح شباب المسلمين اللهم أصلح شباب المسلمين يا رحمن يا رحيم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم بارك لنا في هذا الشهر الكريم اللهم بارك لنا في هذا الشهر الكريم شهر الصيام في شهر القرآن يا عزيز يا غفار اللهم ارحمنا يا كريم اللهم تقبل دعاءنا وبرحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله آمين آمين وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام جزاك الله جويد بي السلام We will conclude the session. Jazakallah khair for everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.